Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Back on the topic of the NFL today. Today bringing kind of an interesting question to the table involving uh, rookie hopeful Trevor Lawrence and Justin Herbert. And we're, today we're asking and, and looking at can Trevor Lawrence be the next Justin Herbert? And it seems kind of odd to compare somebody to Justin Herbert like he's the GOAT. But really, can Trevor Lawrence be the next Justin Herbert in the sense can he have a good enough rookie year for in his second year? Can we look at him like the future of a franchise? So that's what we're looking at today. Can Trevor Lawrence be the next Justin Herbert? But before we get into the video, question of the day, and this is really for you Jags fans and I guess football fans in general, do you think Urban Meyer will be a success in the NFL? Obviously successful at Florida in, in college and Ohio State in college, but can he do it in the biggest stage in the world? That is the question today. Comment below what you think, and at the end of the video, Jay and I will give you our opinion on Urban Meyer. But Jay, kind of explained it already, what this really means can Trevor Lawrence be the next Justin Herbert yeah what we kind of also mean is in in the sense can he break the records like Justin Herbert there you did? go can he go out there and you then know he, then set he the benchmark would be better than Justin Herbert. exactly can he break all these records yeah so in order to do that you have to be in a better position than Justin Herbert I mean you have to look at the head coach Urban Meyer over Anthony Lynn all Urban Meyer has to do is be a coach that's good enough to keep his job and <laughs> Trevor Lawrence is already ahead of Justin <laughs> Herbert in that landmark yep Receiving core, that's arguable. You got Marvin Jones on the Jaguars and DJ Chark and LaVisca Chanel. I feel like there's a little more depth, but on the Chargers, they have a little more star power. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Hunter Henry, so take your pick. So that's really arguable. Offensive line, Chargers were dead last, so as long as the Jaguars aren't <laughs> yeah. that. So Trevor Lawrence, <laughs> in a couple of you know factors, he doesn't yeah. have much to be in a better starting spot than Justin Herbert, but many rookie quarterbacks have come in and have not had the worst offensive line or the worst coach in the NFL, it, this Justin Herbert's a special talent. That's why it took so long to break these records. He's got passing touchdowns, total touchdowns, completions, second in yards, completions. He's just he's done everything. And Trevor Lawrence, I think he can do it. Obviously, anyone can. You could say that about any rookie quarterback. It's anything is possible, especially when you're going into a decent team. I mean, I think a good chance is whoever goes to the Niners because will be on a great team. But looking specifically at Trevor Lawrence, I think he can. He's got a similar build to Justin Herbert. They're both 6'6". They're six. both 6'6". Six, six, they yeah. both got great arms. they got very high Q levels. they got great accuracy. And the only thing I think Trevor Lawrence might have than Justin Herbert, I think he's more of a leader. Not to say that Justin Herbert isn't, but I just think Justin Herbert's a little more quiet. And I think if Trevor Lawrence goes into the Jacksonville Jaguars and leads that locker room, he's going to have a great start to fight him for those records. So, yeah, looking at Trevor Lawrence as a player, uh, at this point right now, seeing him play through college, I, I have no doubt that he is capable of it with his talent. Similar frames, builds, like Jay said, both at six foot six. He's played at the biggest stage in college football several times. Not uh, Alabama off the, tie, off the podium as a true freshman. So Trevor Lawrence can play at the biggest stage at, up to this point. He's done it all. Uh, he's a great leader, like you said. I think that is a, a, maybe a key difference. Herbert never, Herbert never played national championship football with Oregon. Well, Trevor Lawrence did with Clemson, but of course we're talking about the NFL now. So again, arm strength, ability to move. They're both big guys, but can run the ball fairly well, can run people over, can throw the ball 60 yards, all the above. Her, uh, Lawrence can do it. And now looking at the teams around him, like Jay said, he does have a, a couple advantages in head coach that I think will be a better situation than Anthony Lynn, and offensive line should be better than dead last. So uh, I think he's set there. Now, Trevor Lawrence doesn't have to come out and win 10 games to be able to beat Herbert. We saw Herbert do it in seven, and seven games, but that included like a four-game win streak, so they were, yeah, they were on pace actually, to beat five wins or whatever. Herbert's only started 15, so he did all that with one less That's game. That's right. Uh, Tyrod Taylor did get the first start before he was injured. So, yeah. so I think the, the Jags wouldn't have to be good. We don't expect them to be good. We expect Trevor Lawrence to be good, which is what he needs to do to break this record. I do think in LaVisca Chanel and DJ Chark – that he has the guys to do it. I would say Keenan Allen is a better number one than either of those two guys, but I would put him head-to-head -head against or with Mike Williams all day. I think that he's got the receivers to do it. I think he's got the, the head coach. I think him and Urban Meyer will, will, will work well together. I think the one drawback to the Jags is that they have a better running back in James Robinson than the Chargers do in Austin Eckler. I think that means that the Jags offense will rely on, rely on the run more than the Chargers did, giving Trevor, Trevor Lawrence less throws, which course in turn results in less touchdowns completions yeah. all of the above but I think to answer the question that we're looking at just uh sorry Trevor Lawrence definitely has the potential and I think he can be the next Justin Herbert yeah and also we have obviously this is all in contingency that he goes to the Jags yeah I mean, that could be a trade I don't know but obviously that's yeah. obvious for those of you and you're catching on to that but a big factor is of course getting play time 
Herbert did it in 15. Can Trevor Lawrence get it in 16 if he starts the whole season? But also, not to say that Justin Herbert didn't face tough competition in his past year. Obviously, yeah. it was tough. They had a below 500 season. But Trevor Lawrence does have to play the NFC West. That is the toughest division of football. You could have four playoff teams coming out of there. And you play the AFC East, Buffalo Bills, AFC Championship contenders, Miami Dolphins top five defense, Patriots well coached. We saw what a Patriots team who wasn't even good <coughs> but led by Bill Belichick did to a great Justin Herbert. And he was down 45-0 to zero and had <laughs> – no touchdowns. So they have a tough schedule, and the odds are stacked against Trevor Lawrence in some ways, yet he's favored in others. So it's really going to come down to just whether or not I seriously think Urban Meyer is a huge factor. And like I said, he all he has to do is be better than Anthony Lynn to have a better start than Justin Herbert. But still, just because he's a tier better doesn't mean he's just going to go out and set these records. My assumption was, or my assumption is, I think he'll break a record or two. I don't think he'll break it all, and I think they'll be right about even. I think he might get you know more yards but he might not get the touchdowns he might have a couple more picks might not be as pretty because you don't have that number one six five six four i guess keen now in a six three whatever he is six four go up and get a guy he's got these smaller five ten receivers and marvin jones and um dj chark i think trevor lawrence my final consensus is he's gonna break a record or two but he's not gonna go out and set four records or five records whatever it was that herbert did so i think it'll be about even in the rookie records yeah, that's a good point. I guess I, my answer to the last segment was, yes, he can be the next Justin Herbert, but I don't. I guess I don't think he's going to come out and smash every record that Herbert said. I think saying that he'll maybe break a few is fair. Um, I do think Tre- Trevor Lawrence might be at a disadvantage that he is like the unanimous first overall pick. Last year we saw Burrow and, and Tua go above Herbert in the draft when Herbert was six overall, I believe. Yeah. Um, which, not to say Herbert Burrow didn't have a good year, he was on pace to be very good. And, and go head to head with Herbert, but he got injured, and Tua did have a healthy season, and I guess by no means a bust, but not a superstar yet. So I think Herbert was kind of under the radar, but obviously still a top six pick. So not like he was a late round sleeper, but I think by going first overall and just having all this hype around him, Trevor Lawrence does have to deal, I guess, with more pressure. Uh, I guess the I don't know pressure is the right word. He hasn't played any any games, or whatever, but. I think that the pressure aspect for, for Lawrence is a bit of a disadvantage because it's a lot easier for him to be a letdown than it was for Herbert. Yeah, like pressure I think is the right word because yeah. we're comparing him to Justin Herbert yeah. already and the guy hasn't even played. So that enough is kind of already just throwing some you know, assumption and expectation at him. But I think a big factor as well will be the defense because if his defense is getting up 35, 40 points a game and Trevor Lawrence is put in these weird situations where he's just got to air it out, yeah, that might look good on his yards, but that you know puts him in – unsmart situations or not playing efficient football and he's just yak- racking up yards but also racking up interceptions and unsmart plays that won't look good for Lawrence so the defense will be a b- big factor Chargers defense for Herbert on paper it was great but on field it was always hurt Joey Bosa was banged up Melvin Ingram was banged up Derwin James didn't play Chris Harris Jr. is old Casey Hayward's old and banged up so really if the Jaguars stay healthy I do think their defense is better than what the Chargers were last year but on paper the Chargers had the much better defense but I do think make a couple signings like Shaquille Griffin could be an extra corner that just stops one less touchdown and makes it easier for her Trevor Lawrence to be in a smarter situation where they don't have to go outside of the efficient football I like I like so much about what Trevor Lawrence is going into in Jacksonville with a first year head coach um Obviously, himself being a rookie, I, I hate just assuming that he's going to Jacksonville, yeah. but that is what we're doing here. So, in Jacksonville, we have two young receivers. I don't know how old. Uh, Chark's probably in his third year, maybe. Yeah. He's, Chenault, he's I think, was a rookie last year. James Robinson in the backfield was a rookie last year. Um, I just I like the youth in, in the offense. will allow Justin Herbert, even as a rookie, to serve the same leader role he did in college, or at least a similar one. He'll be able to play comfortable football with him being the leader. So, I just like so much about the Jags. And I think Trevor Lawrence will be in a good enough spot that will favor him to break some of these records. Yeah, I think my final prediction, if I had a pick, he doesn't break the yards, but I think he goes out and breaks the touchdown record. I think he'll get more passing touchdowns. And the passing touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken, is 31. 31, yeah. And the total's 35 or 36. So I would assume if he breaks one, he pretty much breaks the others. So obviously, if it's total, he breaks the other pretty much. But I do think he'll break the touchdowns, but not the yards. Yeah, that's fair That's fair to assume that the completions and the and the total yards won't be there. But I think, I think saying he can break the touchdowns is completely yeah. fair. But that's all for our take about can Trevor Lawrence be the next Justin Herbert. Be sure in the comments below to tell us your opinion on the topic. But now for our opinion on Urban Meyer, Jay, what you think? I think of the new head coaches, he's in one of the best spots. Brandon Staley, not to compare Justin Herbert and Charles again, he's in a good spot. But a couple guys like Robert Salah with the Jets, I don't know about that. I think Urban Meyer is in a great spot. They have free agents, they have cap space, they have draft capital, and they got a generational talent. I think yeah, I think be. I think Urban Meyer works well. I've said it before. I like the fact that you're having a first-year quarterback with a first-year head coach. I think. 
the ultimate youth together combined will actually help them out and favor them with this young offense that they're dealing with. But that's all for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Too many warnings.